Are we ready? Yes, waiting for you. Hi everyone, today I'm going to cook for you guys one of the best chicken wraps you can ever taste. Probably in your life you have eaten chicken with some kind of bread or something and it was very good. But this is going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Why? It's because of the way it's going to cook. It's going to be amazing because there are going to be some vegetables and some spices that are going to get inside, all making the chicken great. For this recipe, we're going to need half a kilogram of chicken. It could be breast or it could be thighs. In this case, it's thighs without the bones. And we have a very hot green pepper, but you can always switch if you have like a hot red pepper and then not so hot green peppers, you can always do that. And one carrot and three cloves of garlic, which are quite big. So if yours is smaller, please use four or five. And then we have the spices and we have red flake pepper, cloves, something called isot. I'm going to tell what it is, but if you don't have it, it's okay. I'll tell the replacements and cumin and some sweet cayenne pepper and salt and pepper, of course. Finally, something to wrap it with. You can use lavash if you have something like this, or you can always use tortilla wraps, which are there, more mass produced and etc. Or you don't want to eat gluten, you can use lettuce. And we need a big pan. The, the biggest pan you have would be wonderful. Does it have to be copper like yours? It can be with anything, but when it's with copper, I'm going to tell why it's better. Everything is going to happen on the stove, so I have just like five to 10 minutes of preparation. And in that preparation, first, I'm going to dice all these peppers. I'm going to start with red pepper. I take the seed parts out. Because these are the seeds, it's going to go to the seed bank. But if you don't have that, you can go make it a compost. As we are staying together with Bahar, she is responsible of the composting and the cleaning. <laughs> what do I do? Off you cook. I mess up the place, so there's always something to do. We're in the house still. It's a 200 square meter house and 13,000 steps per day. Just cleaning and doing cooking. This one is really hot and the hands. seeds are really valuable. These should definitely go to the seed bank. These are special green peppers from Antakya region. It's one of the most beautiful places in the world. The world's oldest church is built there. And they have the first road that lit by lanterns. Oh, it's hot. Now, third, I have this carrot. I haven't peeled it because I wanted to show you. For example, what Bahar does, she used to do this, but then uh, we lose this much of carrot. So what I do is just this. You take the outside skin and it's very little that you lose. And again, this goes to the compost. I'm not going to put the middle of the carrot. Why is that? It's less sweet and I always love the middle and I eat it. Can we share it? Of course. The oh, it's hot! <laughs> the pepper is hot! Oh my god! <laughs> we are going to have a lot of fun. <laughs> Incredible. <clears throat> and finally, we have three garlics. And I'm going to first cr oh, crush them like this. These are quite fresh garlics. I want to show you. These are still really fresh. They're, they normally dry like this. They wrap it and make a batch and hang it. The best way to preserve the garlic is to hang. If I make it into a real puree, I'm going to lose its great water to the board, so I don't want to do that. Now, here comes the chicken. I have six thighs, all become about half a kilo, but if you don't have thighs, you have the breast, it would do. I'm going to make centimeter long slices and then dice them like this. This part is a little tastier than the breast. If you're using breast when you're cooking, please also add a tablespoon of butter when you're cooking to balance the taste. Now the chicken is ready, the vegetables are. I have cloves. I'm going to use for this half a kilo of 
chicken, five cloves. This is going to give a very nice but flowery taste and it will make a difference. This flowery taste together with hotness becomes great. But if you say, Befika, I don't have these, still you can make this recipe. It's going to be really good again, but this makes it amazing and great. The cloves are ready. I'm leaving them here. And now I have something called isot. Isot is a kind of red pepper. It's special for a region called Urfa. They uh, slice it and take the seeds out and then sun dry it and then mix it with a bit of olive oil and it becomes this color and tastes really great. To this, I'm going to add a tablespoon of red pepper as well. I'm going to make it even hotter. And to this, I'm going to add water. This water is going to be tasty. It's going to give all the flavors and it's going to waken up the dried peppers. And what I'm going to do, because I have put this much of water, is when I'm cooking, some goodness will stick to the pan. And I'm going to clean that goodness with this. And else than those, I have the cumin and red cayenne peppers. I'm going to add a bit of salt to the chicken and a little bit of pepper and a bit of olive oil for the flavors to pass. Before I dirty up my hands, I take this my shimshir spoon. This is very special. It's a wood called shimshir and it's really thick. You can make a garlicky dish and then just uh, wash it in the sink and then make a, let's say, sweet apple pie and mix it with this. The smell doesn't pass because the pores are really small. It's a very stiff tree. So when you make it out of this, it's really good. And the beautiful side of it is this is still an artisanship in Turkey and around probably some other countries. I don't know if you know, please write it down. Men still make it with their hands. This is a really old one, probably 15 years old. Now I turn out the heat. This is a copper pan. Why? The heat increases very fast and slows down very fast. So if I want to stop cooking or lower the pressure, it's really easy in this. But if you cook in a, let's say, a cast iron, or, or something like this, which has a thick bottom, what happens is it heats up the pan. Even if you turn off the heat, it continues almost in the same amount of cooking for a while. So if they don't have a copper, what's the equivalent of that? They can use aluminium, enamelware, something thin, something that doesn't have a bottom. So I turn on the heat. This time I'm going to use hazelnut oil. But if you don't have hazelnut oil, you can use a light olive oil. As you can see, it started to immediately get warm. I'm not going to put all, I'm going to put half the chicken in. For this recipe, I got my inspiration from a dish called Tantuni, which is amazing. And there, they use cotton oil to make this. Mm. Yeah, I don't crowd the pan. If your pan is going to be small, probably it will. Divide the chicken in three batches and do them in three times. Why? If you crowd it up, the heat will not be enough to warm the chicken or whatever the meat is. It's also the same for mushroom. Then it will give away its water. And then it's going to, in a way, boil in its own water and it's not as tasty. And what we like is we like the brownness because it's the Millard reaction. For that brownness to create, as you can see, I poured it around and I didn't touch for a while. Now I can. Now the fun part starts. As it starts to change color, I'm going to add almost half the carrots because carrots are going to take longer to cook. And when it's like this, I'm starting to add the spices. I'm going to add half the cloves and a heap teaspoon of cayenne pepper. This is going to change the color of the chicken and half a teaspoon for this, half a teaspoon for the rest of cumin. What I do with my wooden spatula, I clean the bottom of the pan. Now I add half the garlic. Of course, started to smell amazing. Chickens are almost done, but most of the goodness is stuck on the pan. So with this water, I'm going to add half of the water. Like this. Now, as you can see, you can clean it. Now I add the peppers, the red ones and the green ones. And I haven't put black pepper just at the beginning a little, but because other things are so good, I don't want to add more. But salt for the vegetables and for the rest of the chicken, I added the last. Now, what I'm going to do, I have plain water. I also add a bit of plain water here. Why I did that? To clean everywhere. Now, I turn off the heat and I'm going to transfer this to another pan.
Now I have this beautiful bread and I'm going to put it inside and clean the pan with it. I'm going to tell you why a little later. I think we know why. <laughs> so, like this. Now, we did this half. Now the second round comes. A bit of oil, chicken. And I should tell you, the second round becomes tastier because there are more things, better things in the pan. So everything from the start, all the rest of the herbs and ingredients. A second round wouldn't kill anyone. We add the rest of the cloves, cayenne pepper. Then we add the garlic. Finally, I add the salt. And when the last batch is ready, I turn on the heat to the most and I put a bit more water like this. So I use one fourth of this glass. I'm going to add in the measurements. I make it more watery. Why? Because I want the bread for the wraps to soak it. And I'm going to add uh, finally the peppers. And this goes back to the pan. I put the meat to the sides and add more water like this. And you can put pilaf in the middle and it would be again another incredible dish. Now this is sizzling. I have this bread. I'm going to put in the middle like this. This way the bread also warms up, but if it takes too much water, then it might break. So now for the wrap. I'm going to put like this. of this I'm going to add some parsley like this you can add coriander rockets would be also very nice and final touch a little bit of lemon like this now I'm going to wrap it in here you have to be fast I know Bahar wants me to wait and as I wait it's going yeah. to break and it did break <laughs> sorry Mind my language. And wrap it like this. Cut it in the middle. Half of it for you, half of it for me. It's hot, but not so mind blowing hot. Bahar, you should try this. It's very juicy. The spices are perfect. I'm making you one by one. Are you enjoying it or are you burning? It's amazing. Look at that. You know what would be great with this? Iran. In here, I'm going to add a very short, easy iron recipe. As the tongue's receptors are alerted with hotness, iron is milky products reduces immediately and then you're ready for the next bite. I right, put five tablespoons of yogurt and whisk it until it's creamy. Put some salt and some water. Then so put some ice to the glasses and then add the ira. have some dried mint or mint leaves on top so this way you can drink this great probiotic drink you also brought your pickles no, I, pickles. I normally brought my pickles normally I would put pickles inside but it was, <laughs> it was so hot I was just thinking thank you guys because I am trying to share some Turkish recipes I get the chance to cook these at home with a lot of hope that you love them. Thank you for all your energies, all your great messages, all your thumbs ups. Please continue doing so. You really make my day in this COVID uh, times. And uh, thank you so much. But if you're on a diet, don't eat the chicken. Wrap the cat and kiss it. Mm. <laughs>